women love playing outside just as much as the boys. But it's only been relatively recently that we've seen gear made just for us. But even then, so much of it has just been pinked and shrinked. So what does really matter when it comes to gendered gear? Zoe, can you show us some stuff that yeah. makes sense? So I brought in this women's specific sleeping bag and you might think, why does it matter? It's just a tube of down. Uh, women actually tend to run colder than men. So in order for a bag to be rated to the same level of cold, like a 15 degree bag for women versus men, the women's bag is gonna have a little bit more insulation overall. And it's actually gonna concentrate more insulation at the feet because women tend to hold most of our heat in our core to protect our reproductive organs, thanks so much. Um, and you're also gonna see a little bit root, more room in the hips because of our lovely curves. So I think this is a piece of gear, and this is actually my personal sleeping bag, where it kind of does matter um, what gender the gear is. Not all women are gonna love a women's specific mm -hmm. bag. Taller gals mm -hmm. might prefer the men's specific bag. What's really important is you get the best fit possible because you don't want dead spaces because that's how you end up getting colder than you might. Want yeah, to I know. Be. I personally end up with men's bags a lot of times. I'm five six. I like to have room in the bottom for my shoes, and I end up with a dude sack. Yeah. Hmm. Well, speaking of shoes, another piece of gear where it does matter, when it where we're seeing a lot more investment in research is in women's specific shoes. Uh, women tend to carry more of their weight on the front of their bodies, so our forefoot is going to be wider relative to our heel, which tends to run narrower. There's really no such thing as a unisex foot. There's an anatomical woman's foot and a men's foot. So La Sportiva actually has the first ever women's specific trail shoe. And you're going to see that there's a slightly different arch profile because women's arches on the average tend to be different than men's. And you're going to see a slightly lower profile and a more narrow fit. This is mind blowing for me because I've been buying women's trail shoes. Like Noah, hmm. what, did you know that there weren't no, really women's No, no. I mean, I knew obviously, same in cycling, we see women specific shoes, but mm -hmm. with trail shoes, I didn't realize yeah, that it was so geared more Yeah, so typically than... when you see a women's shoe, it's actually you're taking the men's chassis or like the footprint and you are just making it smaller and maybe narrower, but the whole biology of the shoe and the fit is different for women. Okay, well, we'll be right back with more examples of when gendered gear does or doesn't matter.